Wow, that's a beautiful home. Is that really how I'm starting this? Okay. Wow, that's a beautiful home. Let's check it out. Welcome guys, Jesse Weiser. I'm a real estate broker here in Springfield, Missouri, and we are talking about the luxury neighborhoods in Springfield, Missouri. We have about seven, eight, nine. We'll just kind of go through a bunch of them. I'm gonna tell you where the cool, unique, beautiful, big homes are in Springfield, Missouri. Also, don't forget, if you wanna look up homes in Springfield, go to wiserlivingrealty.com where you can search for everything that you're looking for and all information is on there as well. Also, we would love to work with you. We have spent tons of hours and even for the last two years helping people move from out of Springfield into the Springfield area. Also, if you have not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe, get notified, because we put out a lot of stuff. We have a big list of topics we're about to drop for the next quarter, so you do not want to miss that. Hit that subscribe button. Ba-ding! Know what I mean? So we pulled up all the neighborhoods around Springfield. Since the real estate market is kind of changing, we went back the five months when interest rates kind of rose. So whenever I talk about the high price point and the low price point, those numbers are pulled from the last five months. Because if you we went out a year, it would be completely different. So in no particular order, I'm going into the luxury neighborhoods. And when I think of luxury, the first one that comes to my mind, like instantly, when someone says, where's the luxury homes? Where's that neighborhood that stands out? I think of Highland Springs. Instantly, when you pull in to Highland Springs, you are greeted with a guard. So they have a gate with a guard, full-time guard, 24 seven. And you pull up and it's actually a country club as well. So there's a golf course there, there's a gym and eating space, restaurant and everything. But the houses in that community, beautiful. I mean, you're talking like 6,000 plus square feet homes. I'm telling you, Highland Springs, even the golf course, they're trying to gear uh, the younger crowd into that golf course a little bit to kind of young it up. Is that even how you say it? Young it up, you know? trying to get the cool kids up in there, you know. Whenever you're looking at 30 years and under, there's actually a junior program that you can join and you can get really cheap uh, golf there. In the past five months, a home sold in there for about 1.4 million and the lowest home in there sold for 670,000 with an average square foot of about 6,100. So Highland Springs sits on the southeast side of town, just as you exit Springfield, right on the south side of 60, going towards Rogersville, Highland Springs is right there. JQH actually built and designed that um, neighborhood and he really wanted it to be like a top-notch neighborhood. Also, I wanna let you know, it has a private golf course, tennis course, aquatic center, social activities, fine dining and casual dining as well. And don't forget, uh, who cares about the HOA? You don't care about the HOA, dude. If you're gonna live in that neighborhood, you probably don't care about how much the HOA is or what it even consists, right? Right, if they live in Highland Springs, they don't worry. So, okay, we talked about Highland Springs, it's the golf course. Actually, the PGA plays at Highland Springs. But the next golf course community is another luxury one. And let's talk about Hickory Hills. Hickory Hills is, there's three phases. Phase one, you got the big homes. Phase two, you got kind of the smaller lots and they're kind of cramming it in. They're about to release phase three. So if you are interested in being in this, uh, the lots are actually coming available here soon. But Hickory Hills is the oldest and longest running, I guess that would be the same thing, uh, country club here in Springfield. It's the oldest golf course in Springfield and it's beautiful, I'm telling you. You're talking on the high end, if you're in phase one, you're looking at $2 million homes. If you're in phase two, the upper end is about a million if you're on the golf course. but. Now you're going down into about 400,000 is probably the low end in that phase two. Phase three is gonna be a little bit more expensive than phase two. But in the past uh, five months, the highest house sold for 800,000 and the lowest house sold for 480,000. But what's cool about Hickory Hills is it's literally right next to Costco and Menards. And they're building a lot of cool stuff like Chestnut 65 is about to blow up. I mean, we're in, this really cool area Hickory Hills is. There's Mr. Car Wash just got built. Whataburger is gonna get built there. They just built the Taco Bell. So they're putting in some like 
brand recognition places here at Chestnut 65, and that's right where Hickory Hills is. So Hickory Hills is just like Highland Springs, has a golf course, tennis, pool, anything that you would want in a country club. I wanna let you know that Hickory Hills, since things are being built right now, there's a lot that's getting sold off market. So if you wanna find a house in Hickory Hills that is off market and hasn't sold yet, but it's coming on the market, reach out to us. We'd love to get a hold of the builders and see if we can get you in that neighborhood. There's a lot of homes in that neighborhood that are selling before they hit the market. Pretty much all new builds like Forest Trails. That's another one that they're getting sold off market. And it's great to have a realtor that knows the connections when it comes to those new neighborhoods. All right, so let's talk about River Cut. It's kind of like, if you look at a map, it's directly south, maybe just slightly west. So you're south of 60 Highway in between Nixa and Springfield is River Cut. It's another golf community. As you can tell, you're starting to see a trend here with the golf communities where beautiful luxury homes. I think that's like a trend anyways when it comes to golf is beautiful houses get built around the golf courses. But River Cut, believe it or not, is a golf course owned by the city of Springfield. It's really cool, they, they keep up with it, but the houses that are built around it are all private. And it's it's not really like, it's not a gated community. So you kind of have the lower cost of like the HOA and stuff. It's a beautiful golf course and the grass is really nice and a lot of tournaments get held there. So in the past five months, houses there have sold up in the upper words of 700,000 down to about 500,000. So it looks like they range in a $200,000 range, depending if you have a big home or a small home. So. It's a lot less than Hickory Hills and Highland Springs, but Rivercut is a great community. And it seems like those houses were built in like the early 2000s is kind of where they are. But then there's some new houses in there as well, but not as much newer homes. So let's talk about Anthony Park. I'm sure you've heard that before. Um, Anthony Park is actually the new rave right now when it comes to new builds in kind of an upper end um, neighborhood. Anthony Park is just south of town. If you take it south, it's again in between Nixa and Springfield, but it's on the east side of 60 highway while river cut was on the west side anthony park is actually closer to springfield more in a better location if you go south of south national all the way down as far as you can go anthony park is right there and they have more phases so they had phase one two three and they're about to open up phase four and it's going to be beautiful some of the homes are going to overlook this big pond and then think about like the rolling ozarkian hills that is anthony park beautiful a lot of custom homes are happening there. The sold numbers in the past five months have been between five and 600,000. That's roughly about a 2,200, 2,300 square foot house. And that's what they typically are. Now there's basement homes there that are gonna be up in the 700, 800,000, but that's kind of what you can expect when it comes to Anthony Park. Um, there's also a 55 and up community where there's like townhomes or patio homes where you can own one side of a duplex that's being built in Anthony Park. And it's just like a really great community right in almost the perfect location in Springfield. It is Springfield, but it's on the south side. So let's talk about Millwood. Millwood is another golf community. It's actually, if you're looking at Highland Springs, Highland Springs goes out towards Rogersville, but Millwood is gonna be towards Ozark, but they're right next to each other. I mean, you pretty much pull out the backside of Highland Springs, you pull into the backside of Rivercut. Like they're right next to each other. Rivercut is more known for their golfing versus their like their neighborhood, but the neighborhood is kind of unique. It's split. So it's split between half of the neighborhood is Springfield schools and half of it is Rogersville schools. So you'll kind of see some of them, the houses might be more expensive because they're Rogersville and not Springfield, or maybe some people want to be Springfield and not Rogersville. I don't know why they, they split those or why they let that happen. It's like the same neighborhood, you should be living next to a child. And then it's like, your neighbor goes to a different school. So you're like best friends, but not going to the same school. Doesn't make any sense to me. But Millwood is beautiful. I hear that Prime, if you go to Prime Trucking, it's a big trucking company that the actual, the owner lives here in Springfield. But if you go to Prime Trucking, you have a corporate membership there as well. So if you are a trucker or you work at Prime or you're, maybe you're moving into Springfield to work at Prime, you have a corporate membership there. Millwood has a lot of corporate memberships. So maybe whenever you move in and you, you work for a big company, they might have a corporate membership there. Never know. So with Millwood, you're looking in around the mid 800 
hundred thousands for the top range and about five hundred thousand for the low range for a smaller house. I actually like Millwood. Millwood's homes look more French style, so you know those houses, they're brick and they have, um, you know, the little points on top of them. The little points I'm talking about are like lightning rods or something. I don't know, they're French style. Here's a picture of a French style home right there. So let's talk about Fremont Hills. That's another golf community. As you can tell, I'm, this video should be golf communities. Fremont Hills is located literally right in between Ozark and Nixon, Missouri. So if you go down on CC Highway, which is the first exit at Ozark and go directly towards Nixa on CC Highway, you're gonna run straight in to Fremont Hills. I haven't really spent much time in there, but I hear the community within Fremont Hills is very tight knit. So you know a lot of your neighbors that live in Fremont Hills. That's what I've been told, the community, they know each other, everyone's walking around, talking to each other. They're all part of the, part of the golf course and everything like that. So if you really want like a community driven um, neighborhood, you definitely want to check out Fremont Hills. You're looking at the average of up to 800,000 down to about 450 range within the last five months, that's the numbers. So it's really not that hard to kind of get in on the low range, you just have to find a smaller house. So I guess Fremont Hills, their country club is optional if you live there. But what's cool is they have an 18 hole golf course, a resort style pool with five swimming lanes. Five, that's a lot. They have a zero entry beach as well. And they have a children's splash pad, playhouse and clubhouse. So we're actually thinking about touring some of these homes in these neighborhoods. How cool would it be to get in there and see the luxury homes and, and get a little eye candy on your screen, you know? If you want us to get uh, some tours of these places, I would love to know your opinion down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out these videos. We have tons of resources if you're trying to move into Springfield. Love you guys. See you next week. That actually went really quick.